guys. Say hi. <laughs> Layla and her crazy hair. Hey. It is crazy. <laughs> yes, it is. Today is Ooh. Monday, June 3rd. I have an OB appointment today, but it's not until like 2.30, so it's not until later. So hopefully I can get this video up for you guys like the same day that you're watching this because I usually upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but you guys know that my schedule has been kind of crazy because life has been pretty crazy. But a lot of you guys have been asking me for a pregnancy update, especially since last night. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you aren't, you should because I always post updates there first. I'll leave it right here on the screen as always if you guys want to check it out. Oh baby, you say hi to the Moran family? Give them besos? Oh, so sweet. Oh, nice. Last night, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you know that I posted I was having like contractions or Braxton Hicks. I don't really know what they were, but at around like 7 p.m., my stomach started hurting like super, super bad. Like it wasn't like extremely painful or anything, but it was really uncomfortable to the point where I couldn't even like bend down because my belly was tightening and it was so hard, so it was uncomfortable. Tried to relax, I was like laying down on the couch for a little while, and then it was around Rory's bedtime, so just in case, you know, I was going into labor or something, I, you know, got her ready for bed, I got the girls ready for bed, and then um, I laid down with Aurora when I was putting her to bed, so I was laying down for an hour or so. Sorry if you guys hear Rory crunching away over here, but, so I was laying down for like an hour or so. So I was relaxing because the first thing that popped in my mind was it was probably Braxton Hicks. I knew I just needed to rest. So I tried laying down with her and they were still going on. So I decided to jump in the shower just in case, you know, I needed to go in and I just wanted to be all prepared. So what well, baby, you being silly, you being silly. I jumped in the shower to relax. I got out, got in some comfy clothes, I got in my PJs, and then Aurora ended up waking up again. So I laid down again with her for about like 30 minutes. Another thing that popped in my mind too was maybe I was dehydrated. Because I know when you're dehydrated, sometimes that can bring on contractions or it can make Braxton Hicks even worse if you're dehydrated. So that was the first thing that popped in my mind. So immediately when I first felt that first one and my belly was tightening, I started like chugging water. So I was drinking water, I was relaxing and everything, and about an hour had gone by and it was still happening. Like they weren't consistent or anything, but every so often during that hour, it would happen. I posted on Instagram and I asked you guys if that's how labor started for any of you guys and a lot of you like a ton of you guys said that's how your labor started so with Layla when I was pregnant with her I never ever had any signs that labor was approaching I never you know was uncomfortable really even towards the end I didn't have like any Braxton Hicks I wasn't like nauseous because I know sometimes you can get like that towards you know the end when labor's near which is another thing that's been happening a lot lately is these past couple of days I've been nauseous like all day long like I haven't thrown up or anything but I've just been extremely nauseous back to when I was pregnant with Layla so I never had any signs that labor was approaching just nothing like I wasn't even dilating or anything one night I just randomly started having contractions so that's how her labor started. And then with Aurora, I kind of suspected I was gonna go into labor because I had gone to the store with my mom because my mom and my sisters were out visiting us in Hawaii. Rory! Rory! Mama's trying to film! You've been crazy today! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You dropped them. <laughs> so with Aurora, my family was out in Hawaii and they were visiting us because my mom was hoping that she'd be there for Aurora's birth. So she was out there and I was out shopping late with my mom. My mom had me walking a lot with Aurora, which was good. So I kind of suspected because when we were out shopping that night, 
it just felt like it felt like aurora was like about to fall out like it was so uncomfortable to walk and it was just like it was just so much pressure down there so i kind of suspected i was going to go into labor so i went to bed that night and same thing as layla contractions started in the middle of the night i've always gone into labor at night for some reason when it's time to go to bed so when I started feeling that last night, it kind of got me a little concerned, but I didn't want to stress. Me and my doctor kind of have like this set plan. We already kind of briefly touched on it, but if I do suspect that I'm going into labor or if I'm contracting or if I'm having like a ton of Braxton Hicks or something, there is no point in me calling in at all for advice or anything because since I am a high risk pregnancy and since everything is going on with Everly, no matter what I tell them when I call in, they're always gonna tell me to just come in and get checked out. So last night, there was kind of no point in me calling in because like I said, they were gonna tell me to come in anyways. So my thought process last night was, they're gonna tell me to come in and whatever is going on right now, whatever like I'm feeling, if it is contractions or Braxton Hicks or whatever, they weren't consistent. I checked, um, Everly's heart. She was kicking around like crazy the whole entire time this was happening. So I knew she was okay because I was feeling her her heartbeat was super strong. It was in the average range where she's always been. That really put me at ease. So like I said, I, there was like no point in me calling in because I knew they were going to just tell me to come in to get checked out. But nothing was really consistent. I wasn't in any pain. I decided to just drink some more water and basically sleep it off. Fast forward to this morning, I feel a lot better. My belly doesn't feel like tight as it was because it was like extremely tight last night. And it was just like, it was like one giant cramp that just wouldn't let up. Like that's the best way I could explain it. But this morning I feel fine. I don't feel crampy anymore. So we will see. Like I said, I do have an appointment at 2.30 with my OB. I will get another ultrasound. I get an ultrasound every single time I go in, even if it's just for like a quick minute, just to check on Everly and make sure she's okay and everything. So you guys will get to see her again today. I'm super excited about it. Tomorrow on Tuesday, I actually have a 4D ultrasound scheduled. So that's super exciting. So you guys will actually get to see Everly two times this week. So I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and hang out with the girls right now. And then I will see you guys for my appointment today. Okay, so I came into my sister's room really quick because my mom and my sisters are all home. So it's kind of loud downstairs. But I realized there's one more thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And that's about C-sections. So I believe in my last pregnancy update, I think it was my last one. Not too sure. But I had told you guys that Everly was breech and I kind of touched on how I was hoping she'd flip on her own and I didn't want a C-section. So what I meant by that is I have nothing against C-sections at all. Whatsoever. Like, if that's the way you need to bring your child into the world, then by all means, go for it. What I meant by I don't want a C-section is basically I didn't mean any harm by it because a lot of people kind of came for me in the comments and I got some messages on Instagram too and a lot of people were just kind of hinting that I was bashing moms for getting c-sections I guess but that wasn't the case at all like I said I have nothing against c-sections it's just with Everly's disorders labor is going to be not your typical labor and delivery. There's just so many things that can happen. Labor may even be too stressful for her. So my plan for labor, me and my husband have already agreed on it. Our doctor is already on board with it and everything. I don't want Everly to be monitored in the hospital when I'm going through, you know, labor because labor may be too stressful for her because of her disorders. She may pass away during labor. I know that's really hard to hear, but that's just our reality. So I don't want Everly to be monitored during labor because I don't want to know if she does happen to pass away. What I meant when I said that I don't want a C-section is typically if they are monitoring Everly, 
and her heart rate starts dipping, which could happen because as I said, labor may be too stressful for her with her disorders. So if her heart rate starts dipping, any doctor typically would immediately say, all right, we're gonna get you into C-section. But I know this is, it's kind of hard for me to say, so I don't want to get choked up. C-section is still a surgery. I know many women get it. It's still a surgery. It can affect future births. If I can avoid it, I'll avoid it. But like I said, I have nothing against C-sections. If I need it, of course I will get it. I hope all of this made sense, by the way. If you're still wondering something, you guys can always let me know in the comments. But I just wanted to tell you guys that because a lot of people thought I was like 100% against c-sections but that's not the case it's just with my situation and Everly's situation any doctor is going to try to push c-section on me no matter what I'm going to push for a vaginal delivery but obviously if I do medically need a c-section then I'll go ahead and get it I just wanted to let you guys know that really quickly because I know some people were confused on why I didn't want a c-section and all that stuff so I hope that kind of clears it up for you guys I think that's everything i'm going to show you guys my bump really quickly because i forgot to show you guys that too so 27 weeks so that's what it looks like she is getting so big guys see belly is just popping i feel like the belly is in full effect now but anyways i will see you guys later once it's time for my OB appointment. I'm super excited about it because I am so excited to see her again and I'm definitely going to mention to my OB that I was having like a bunch of tightening feelings last night. And I'll probably try to record like the full appointment today but if I don't get to record the full appointment it'll just be an ultrasound again so either way you guys will get to see Everly but I'll see you guys in a little bit. at my appointment it was a really quick appointment pretty much all of my appointments are really quick it's just to measure my belly which was measuring at 28 weeks which is pretty normal because I'm like 27 weeks and I think like three days my weight is good I think for this pregnancy total I've gained around like 15 pounds I told him that I was like having contractions or Braxton Hicks and he didn't seem too concerned with it. He just let me know that if it starts to continue again and if I start having them again that I should probably just go ahead and go right in. Don't even call or anything to so just go ahead and go into the um, OB wing. But he said it sounds like I'm drinking enough water so that sounds good. Everly's heartbeat was really strong. She's moving around like always. She still is not head down now. I'm just praying that last night wasn't a sign that labor is approaching because she is in like the worst position she could be in if I do go into labor. She's actually transverse, I believe he said, which is basically sideways. So her head is over here and then her bottom is over here. So she's literally just across my belly. So that would be super, super bad if I were to go into labor because I'm pretty sure I would just end up in a C-section. 
which as I mentioned in previous clips of this video, if that's what I need to do to deliver her safely, then that's what I'll go ahead and do, but I don't know. I mean, I'm still early on, so I wasn't expecting her to be head down already. I don't remember when Layla and Aurora turned head down. I don't really remember that, so I'm not too sure, but it's never been a concern. Like I said, I'm only like 27 weeks and a few days, so I know I'm still pretty early and there's still time for her to turn head down, so it's not really a concern right now. It's just a little stressful just because, you know, I was having like that tightening in my belly last night, so I'm just praying that wasn't early labor and I'm praying that it wasn't contractions, that it was just Braxton Hicks. Husband Benny comes out in like 17 days, so I just need Everly to hang tight just a little while longer, just at least until her dad can come out here at least, but I'm always praying for her to stay in, keep baking, but we'll see. I'll always update you guys. As for the 4D ultrasound that I'm supposed to have tomorrow, they actually emailed me and they had to reschedule me. So for that ultrasound, that was actually scheduled um, Thursday instead of tomorrow. And then they were super nice. They said they were gonna give me like a special complimentary package. So I'm super excited. I don't know what the package comes with. The one that I originally chose comes with like a DVD and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Ram family and make sure you hit that bell so that you guys always get notified every single time I upload. And I'll see you guys when it's my 4D ultrasound appointment. Bye guys.